back to my channel. Happy New Year! I hope you guys had an amazing New Year's. I haven't seen you since last year and it's just been so long. <laughs> and I am so sorry I didn't like, oh, I can't talk. I'm so sorry I didn't upload yesterday. It was just such a busy first day back at work and I had so much going on that I was like, I don't want to film a video, edit it all in a rush and then you get a really bad quality video. I just didn't want that. So I thought I'm going to wait another day and I'm filming this on the Friday, which is the day this is going up. And I just thought it made more sense that way. So I hope that's okay for you guys. But from Sunday, my schedule will be back to normal, which is Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday uploads. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below how your Christmas and New Year's have been. I had such a lovely time off. I've missed you guys a lot, and I'm just so excited to be back and filming and just talking to you guys again. It just feels so good. I feel like when you have a break from YouTube, it's 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 nice to have a break, but it's nice to get back into it because I it's, it's like just not talking to your friends for ages. It's really weird, so it's nice to be back. It's nice to be back. Anyway, in today's video, I wanted to film a River Island haul. Now, this video isn't sponsored. I purchased everything with my own money. I spent a lot of money. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I spent a lot. So I basically bought things literally a couple of days before Christmas. And then I was like, oh, I should do a haul. And then I woke up on Boxing Day, got an email, because I'm signed up to the River Island mailing list, which is dangerous. I must admit, and I woke up on Boxing Day and it was like 70% sale, like up to, and I was just like, oh great. Of course I went on it, spent a fortune. I think I've spent around 500, maybe over 500 pounds on this haul. So I'm gonna try and speed through it as much as possible because there is a lot of stuff. Some stuff are in sale, some stuff isn't. Um, I was quite annoyed there was a coat that I bought full price and then it went literally under half price in the sale. So I was like, great. <laughs> anyway, there's loads of mix and match things in here. So I will list everything that I've shown you guys in the description box down below. And if you wanna see all the bits and pieces I picked up, then please keep watching. I'm so sorry if I keep playing with my hair in today's video. It's just, I'm having a hair day where it's freshly washed, which first of all is never a good sign because it just never goes right. And it's just, I just feel like it doesn't look nice. I don't know why. So I'm sorry if I keep playing with it. I'm sorry, I'll try not to. Anyway, I need to speed through this haul because I'm gonna talk way too much. The first things I actually picked up were this necklace. It's like a set. It does come with a choker as well, but I'm not wearing it because I'm wearing a high neck and I just didn't feel the need to. <laughs> but they're all individual, so you can wear them on its own or you can wear them as a stack together. You can mix and match them. And I just thought they're really cute. I like the pearl detailing on them. I think it's quite different to like the usual simple sort of symbol. And this one's got a really nice sort of gem on it. So yeah, I thought that was quite cute. The next thing I wanted to show you guys are my earrings. Now I am very much into earrings and I didn't really realize I was. Well, I know I have, but it's, it's kind of like my statement piece. I'd rather wear a simple necklace and then a nice earring. I don't know why. I just always, I don't know. I feel like it's just my thing and I didn't realize it was my thing. And then loads of people were like, you're such like a statement earring sort of girl. And I was like, I have, I have. Anyway, I picked these up from River Island. These were six pounds. And I actually bought two pairs of these because I am obsessed with them. And I was thinking if I ever lose these, I'm gonna be so upset because they're just so lovely and they go with so much. They're not too in your face. Like I've got so many sort of dangly earrings, which don't get me wrong, I absolutely love. But you know on days where you don't wanna, uh, you sort of don't wanna put too much effort in and be a bit too much like, look at me. So I don't know, I think these are simple but effective. And I feel like when you wear earrings like this, you can sort of layer up with necklaces as well. So I got them. The next thing I'm actually wearing as well is this really lovely top. It's like a roll neck, but it's got these beautiful puffy sleeves and then it goes in here by the wrist. This is so comfortable. One thing I wish it was, I wish it was quite baggy around the stomach. Now this is quite a tight top slash jumper. Um, so I will be wearing high waisted <laughs> jeans with this because um, yeah, I'm not really a fan of my stomach and it's sort of the lined material where you can see everything. I'm not gonna lie to you but it is so comfy. I think it's so flattering and it's just simple. And it's the sort of top that you can throw on. You're not too hot, you're not too cold and you know looks nice and you can dress it up or dress it down. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I like this one. So the next thing I picked up were these beautiful hair clips. Now they look like this and I just thought these are so stunning. I love how they're gems and I feel like these would look so nice as a statement sort of hair piece. And I feel like these would look nice with the earrings as well. I just really like hair pieces like this. I think they're so in and they're so lovely um, and yeah these are really lovely so yeah don't really know what to say about this but I really like them <laughs> and it says eight pounds on the back but I don't know if these were in the sale or not so what I'm gonna do is list 
everything that I've shown you guys in the description box down below. So if you want to know the prices, if you want to know if it's in sale or not, because I can't remember, there's so much stuff here, then check the description box down below with all the items. I'll write a little description before the link, just so you know what it is. So yeah, if you want to check the prices, check there. <laughs> so the next item, which is probably my favourite thing throughout the whole haul, and I've been wearing this non-stop at the moment it's just amazing is this beautiful bag now i can't get over how stunning this is i did buy this full price i think it was 38 pounds or 39 pounds it was something like that just under 40 pounds which for a bag like this i think is so good and so affordable it comes with a strap so you can wear it like this if you want long or you can sort of wear it short like this i absolutely love the detailing on it it's very sort of gucci and it's the sort of thing like personally i know the river island logo so if I saw someone wearing this I'd know it's from River Island but a lot of people I went out for New Year's and they were like where's your bag from and I was like River Island like can you not tell and they were like no so I got so many compliments on it when I wore it on New Year's and it's just a stunning bag I love the colours I think because I'm quite basic with my clothes I like to wear simple clothes these are the basically this bag is my colour palette <laughs> so I wear blacks greys white this very like beautiful mauvey sort of colour so I think this goes with a lot of my wardrobe and it's just a bit of a statement piece I feel like when you're wearing quite simple clothing having a bag like this just dresses the whole outfit up so it's just amazing so yeah this is definitely my favourite at the moment and you guys I put this on Instagram and you guys absolutely went crazy for it so yeah I hope you guys love it as much as I do I'm literally obsessed I'm obsessed probably my favourite bag at the moment speaking of bags i'm going to show you the other one that i picked up this i only picked up two i say only <laughs> i picked up two bags this one was in the sale i can't remember how much it was so the usual price is 26 pounds so i reckon i picked it up for i'm not even i don't know i don't know check the description box i can't remember but i thought this is just really simple i liked the tassel detailing this re reminds me of the gucci one which is a similar sort of size um and i just thought this is just a nice basic one sometimes when you're out for it, it's only a bit more plain and you haven't got much detailing going on a simple bag like this is really good it reminds me of i think my cousin's got a michael paws one which is in a similar shape than this um, and it's like that so yeah I just thought it's really cute just thought it's really nice and plain and I don't think I've got like a plain grey bag like this like a small one I don't know I'm a bag hoarder I'm literally a bag hoarder I'm the worst I'm literally the worst but yeah I thought this one was so cute so I'm gonna try and power through all of the clothes just a disclaimer I'm not gonna try everything on because I'll be here for days like literally days I'm gonna insert pictures of me if I am wearing the clothes and I'm also I'm going shooting on not like shooting oh my god no like photo shoot oh, I did not wear that right I'm going on a photo shoot on Saturday which is tomorrow and I'm basically gonna shoot all of the clothes that I show you guys in today's haul so if you want to know more in detail what it looks like it'll be all over my Instagram page so come and follow me on Instagram all of the clothes and stuff will be on there so if you want to see what it looks like then come and follow me on there but um yeah I'll try and insert some pictures of me wearing it if I take them in my mirror but I feel like you get a better sort of understanding of what the clothes are like when you're out and about but um yeah anyway um so this is one of the jumpers I picked up I remember this was on sale I picked up a jumper like this last year which is very similar it's just got a different pattern to it and it's so cozy river island jumpers are probably the best for like roll necks and stuff because they're not suffocating the material is really like snuggly but it's quite thin at the same time you've got loads of room they're really stretchy um, and i just think they're really lovely they're a bit different and i really like the shape of them i think the shape of their jumpers are so flattering they sort of go into a v so if you can see the bottom of it, it sort of goes up um, and it looks so flattering on. And then the sleeves are like this, so you can sort of ruche them up. And I just think they're so nice. So this is the first jumper. The next jumper is probably my favourite jumper throughout the whole haul. It is so lovely. I get so many compliments every single time I wear it. And it's this beautiful jumper here. So this jumper is quite... Oh, am I showing you guys wrong? Yeah, there we go. It's very different to usual jumpers that you'll see out and about. It's actually a V. So it looks like this and it's got a V. Can you see that? So it's just a V. And then the sleeves look like this. So they go in there. And then it is a roll neck. This is thicker than the other like typical River Island jumpers. But it is so cosy. It's so warm. The V does go quite high up. So it goes quite like probably where 
my waist is, like the V on the side. So I do tend to wear a vest underneath it because when you're out and about, I didn't wear a vest with it once. So I was like, oh, the wind is really cold. <laughs> so it does grab your top. So I did wear a vest with it. But um, yeah, I just, I really like it. I think it's really different. Oh, this sleeve's in, that's why it looked weird. But I just thought it's so lovely and I love the colors of it. I love the pattern. And the next thing I got is very similar to this jumper that I'm actually wearing. But I thought, it would be a little bit like different in the sense the material is different it does feel like better quality um, and these sleeves are different material to the actual fabric on the rest of the jumper so this as you can see is like completely different so um basically these sleeves go out like this but it's not as puffy and then where it goes in at the wrist it comes out here which i think is so pretty it's so stunning it looks so nice when you have a watch on or some bracelets and then you sort of can see it like peeking through i think that is so cute and it's just a really nice jumper i think this is like a cute spring one as well you can sort of wear it with a nice high-waisted skirt or shorts and things like that so I just thought it's just a really nice jumper and the quality is so beautiful it's not as puffy as these sleeves these sleeves are quite puffy so yeah these ones aren't as puffy but they're still quite puffy in the sense that they let go out a bit there as you can see but I just think this is such a lovely jumper now I picked up a lot of cami top I feel like cami tops no matter what season they're like my go-to they're literally my go-to when it comes to clothes because I feel like you can sort of mix and match them you can wear them with leggings you can wear them with like leather trousers jeans just whatever you can dress them up or dress them down with a blazer or a jumper and um, a cardigan things like that so I just think honestly camis are for me anyway and they have been for about three four years um, they're an essential in my wardrobe because you can dress them up you can wear them with like layered necklaces and things like that and I just think they're so lovely so I picked up a plain white one River Island camis are probably the best quality ever I also get mine from Matalan but those ones are quite see-through so these ones are better quality they're like double layered um, and I think as to do them but their quality isn't as good so yeah I do prefer River Island ones and River Island ones are also adjustable here which is super handy so I picked up a plain white one I got quite a few actually this one I saw it online and I saw the model wearing it and she looked so cool so I think with this one I'd wear it with a fluff on me I think this one I'd wear it with a white or black blazer I think that would look really nice so I also picked up this and I really like gem sort of detailing on it can you see around the edges and this is quite a silky sort of teal green material um teal green colour I mean but it's like silky material so I just thought this is really cute it's quite different to any camis that I've got and this one is obviously one that is a bit more dressy but you can still feel comfortable in it I personally like camis because I feel like they're quite flattering but they go out and they don't stick to your stomach sometimes wearing high-waisted like I don't know I feel like it's something it's nice to go out sometimes and just have your stomach covered for me anyway personally I'm not saying everyone else is like that so yeah just from my point of view that's what I feel like so I think this is so lovely um, and I really, really love the colour. This one is quite dressy again, but then you could also cover the... I don't even know what these are. They're on the sleeves. They're like gems. I don't know what they're called, but you could probably cover them up. These are actually really lovely. They're quite dressy. This is really heavy compared to the other camis. This material is a lot more silkier. It's quite similar to the teal one that I just showed you. So yeah, I love this. I'm so sorry. My camera just cut me off. I think it overheated so basically I was saying that the black top is so lovely it's just super thick quality and quite silky which does I think look dressier and nicer for the evening time but it is quite versatile at the same time so. the next thing I picked up I am so excited to wear I can't even begin to explain how excited I am to wear these and also how me they are so these are these beautiful joggers they look like this so they've got this beautiful like lace detailing here but it's like a velvet lace which I think is stunning the material is so beautiful and then it's got a really simple white strap going down the sides and then the ends go in like this so I am so excited to wear these on the model it did have like a matching sort of jumper to it and I tried to find it and I'm guessing it sold out ages ago because I couldn't find it anywhere I wanted to get a matching one but then I thought you know what I could just wear a white vest with it and then a white cardigan or something like that because when I'm at home obviously you guys know I work from home I'm not gonna lie I hate sitting around in jeans I'm not that type of person I like to wake up do my makeup do my hair get ready and sort of feel productive for my day but I also like to be comfy but I don't want to wear pajamas all day so I want to look nice like I always say 
I want to look acceptable to go to the shops in. That's sort of presentable. So yeah, I think joggers like this are so lovely. And I'm honestly, I'm going to wear these as soon as I finish this video. I wanted to wear them now, but I was thinking, how can I like, lift my leg up and show you guys my joggers? It's just, it's just not practical. So yeah, I'm just obsessed with these. I love the colour of them as well. I think these are stunning. The next thing I picked up, I feel like at first I didn't like it. And then I saw it in store. I forgot about this. I've actually done three orders with uh, River Island. Three orders. Oh my goodness. Because I done one online. Then I went into store, took some stuff back. And then I bought some more stuff. And then I bought more stuff online. Oh my goodness. What's wrong with me? Anyway, I picked up this jumper. Now it has got a hood. And this is a really snuggly jumper. So, oh, the arm's in. One second. So it's got a really stunning hood and the jumper looks like this. The material is absolutely stunning. It's so warm and cosy. I really like the hood that comes with it. And I like the sort of black detailing it has on the sides. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there we go. So that's what it looks like on the sides. And it's just quite flattering. It's just a cosy one that you can just shove on in the morning. I'd wear some leggings with it and it's just cosy. It's just a cosy one. So yeah, I love this and I have worn it and I can confirm I love it. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd done all the camis, but I actually got another one, which isn't surprising. Anyway, this is the next one I got. This is a very spring cami, I'm not going to lie. I did pick it up for spring, but I thought, you know what, I can sort of get away with it now, hopefully. But yeah, I just thought this is so stunning. I really like the lace detailing it's got. The back of it is a crossover, which I think is so pretty. So it looks like this. Um, when I picked it up, I was thinking, is it going to look like... A a pajama top <laughs> so hopefully I can dress it up with some jeans and stuff and it won't look like it and then the bottom of it has also got lace detailing on it too which I think is so lovely this would look so nice with a white blazer or a white jacket some jeans some leather leggings some leggings if you want to dress it down anything really I love camis I literally love them so much so I'm so excited to wear this and the color of this is absolutely stunning so I don't know where my obsession with teal 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 i feel like i'm so saying that wrong probably not even that color let me double check it says dark green so we'll just go with dark green my obsession with dark green has started and i don't know why i don't know if it's because everything was in the sale and i don't i don't know where it's come from but anyway we're going with it so i picked up this blazer now it has got ruche sleeves detailing which i love and it's just really good quality i like the way it fits it sort of goes down like it, it sort of goes down here like a v-shape it's so hard to show you right now but hopefully i can insert a picture of me wearing it and it'll make it a lot easier for you to see but i think it is so stunning it does come with a waistband too and i just really like the color i think this with a plain black cami or a white cami would look so lovely and i think green and gold go so nicely together so i'll definitely be wearing these stacks with this blazer i think it'll look so lovely and oh i'm just obsessed i'm literally obsessed with it look at the sleeves i think they are so lovely right you guys we're getting there we're getting there we're nearly done so the next thing i picked up was this cape now this will be on my instagram and i'll hopefully have a picture of you guys so i can insert it on screen but i'm obsessed this matches the print of the bag that i showed you at the beginning and i i bought this online and there was actually two capes that it was like between it was this one or like a plain gray with like a bit of pink detailing and i thought you know what go for something a little bit different so i picked this up and i love how it's got the stripe underneath it is very gucci vibes i'm not gonna lie but i love that and i just think it's stunning it is quite warm inside like i had it on the other day my sister just kept feeling me inside and i was like what are you doing she's like it's just really warm so it's got quite like a nice lining inside as well so it's going to keep you warm i always wear this with a top like this or a white cami because I feel like it goes better. Um, I have tried black, but it doesn't really go as well. So I think this goes better with white, but I suppose it's completely up to you. Um, and I just think it's really cute. And I really like capes. I don't know why. I sort of feel like it's like constantly having, it's, it's like wearing a blanket all the time, but it's acceptable to go out. Do you know what I mean? But I love that. So yeah, I'm so happy with this. I literally wear this all the time. The next jumper I picked up was this beautiful one. Now, again, the color palette of this is just me to it's got that beautiful shape going on so it's got that sort of v-shape here which is so flattering and i just love the colors i think it's quite a different jumper to like usual jumpers that are on the market it has got a bit of a fluffy on let me take that off <laughs> um yeah i just think it's so lovely i love the colors i think colors like this go perfectly in my wardrobe but they also i just think that they go with a lot and it's so cute it's so snuggly and i'm so excited to wear this like so excited this was full price i think this was 40 pounds 
pounds yeah 40 pounds but it's so worth it when you feel the quality and how much you actually wear it you get your money's worth so yeah i love this the next thing i want to show you which actually needs a wash because it's got part of my face on it <laughs> so maybe i'll show you this side anyway it's yep still makeup there too it's this beautiful coat now it's going to be so hard to show you so i'm just going to insert a picture of me wearing it on the screen but i'm obsessed with it it is quite oversized anyway they only had a size up to my usual size but i did get it and i kind of wish i sized down a little because it's a three-quarter sleeve coat anyway and it's oversized so stay true to size or even go down a size because i made the mistake of going up a size because i thought it's a coat you always want to go up a size in coat no <laughs> don't trust me don't but yeah it's just stunning i love the color of it i didn't realize how much this color was needed in my wardrobe until i got this coat and i was like oh my god i wear it all the time you can see it just the color palette just goes amazingly and it's just so lovely obviously it's faux fur i wouldn't even buy anything with real fur so yeah i didn't even have to justify myself then but if any of you guys are wondering because there'll probably be some in the comments this is faux fur <laughs> and this is also the coat which i purchased for 70 pounds and it's gone into the sale i think for 30 or 35 i can't remember i was fuming <laughs> i was so annoyed i was like seriously like why and it's not like i could take it back because i actually wore it so i, I wore it and i was thinking i can't take it back and then get my money back and then buy it again because i wore my coat so that was annoying so any advice for next year wait for boxing day because i was too impatient and didn't and then you know i was just so annoyed at myself but i think this is such a lovely coat anyway it's quite like heavy but it's good quality it's good quality so there's literally four things left and i'm so sorry for rambling on um the next thing i think i'm going to take this back I'm not gonna lie I thought I'd show you guys anyway in case any of you guys liked it so I just thought I'd show you it is lovely but it didn't look as nice on than it did on the model it's one of those so it might just be my body shape because it just didn't fit well so I don't know if it's just me but anyway it's this beautiful off the shoulder jumper it's got lovely puff sleeves which look like this and then it goes down like this which is it's, it's like a jumper for me I feel like it was made for me but I put it on and it it didn't feel right so i don't know maybe i wasn't styling it right i don't know but i just i wasn't vibing at the time i wasn't vibing at the time maybe i was having a bad day but yeah i think i'm gonna swap this for something else because i don't know but the color is so stunning i love it so much and i love the sleeves like i think the sleeves are so beautiful it just didn't look right the next thing i picked up oh my goodness it's probably one of my favorite things in the haul and it is this beautiful cape now oh my goodness first of all it is so warm i'm gonna show you just one side because you sort of get the gist of it it looks like this again it is faux fur i love the pattern of it i love the sort of specks between the greys the blacks and the whites i love the black fur detailing going in here it's also got it all at the bottom and it sort of goes round it sort of looks like a circle but it's actually so flattering on it is so stunning it's got buttons here so you can just pop the button here and then you're nice and warm and cozy and it's just so lovely i really like the cape detailing of it like I think it is so pretty so i'm so happy with this one as well oh i feel like i'm sorted now and it's going to be spring in no time so great <laughs> so the last things i wanted to share with you guys are shoes now this is the first part i picked up these were on offer both of them were on offer actually and i'm obsessed with these i really like the wooden heel with the contrast with the pink and then it's got suede detailing and then the pleather sort of patent sort of leather here um, so they aren't real leather and i'm just so obsessed with them i think these are so lovely and i can confirm these are so comfortable so yeah i'm obsessed with these the next pair of shoes honestly i probably saved the worst till last but hopefully that's a good thing so a little story behind these i'll be as quick as possible because i know this video has gone on for long enough i ordered these and they were the last pair apparently and they went into sale for 30 pounds so i think usually i don't know how much they're, they were quite expensive usually and they're probably my dream pair of knee high boots so they came and I was like, oh my goodness. Like, can we take a minute? These are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Do you know what they done? They sent me two wrong sizes. So I ordered a seven. I am usually a six, but they only had a seven left in stock. And I was like, you know what? They're boots. You can sort of get away with going a size up in boots anyway. Just wear bigger socks. That's what I do anyway. So I was like, okay, I'll just get a seven. So I got a seven and they sent me a bloody five. So one of them is a five. And then this boot's a seven. So not gonna lie i was not happy um i did call the store to see if i could swap them in the brighton store but they had none in stock and then they were like online they're completely sold out as well i was thinking someone else in the world who's ordered these boots 
has got my seven and I've got their five. <laughs> so I don't really know what to do, to be honest. I think I'm gonna have to take them back. I, I don't know, I don't think I can get these boots anymore because I think they are completely sold out, which I was so upset about because look how pretty they are. So maybe I'll just have to get, like exchange them for something else. But yeah, that's my annoying story about these boots because look how nice they are, they're so pretty. Anyway, it's fine, those things happen. There's more things going on in the world than me moaning about my boots, but it's just one of those little things, isn't it? It's just like, oh, really? really anyway my lovelies i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i feel like my voice is going now because i've spoken for so long i'm so sorry it's so long i did warn you that i did get a lot of stuff so i'm so sorry i will link everything that i've shown you guys in the description box down below i'll put like a little description of the item so if you're interested in knowing the price if it's in sale or anything like that please check down below um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you have subscribe if you're new to my channel and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye i'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding whatever that is choking your chest I can see it in your eyes that you shake